This is going to be an interesting one. We're approaching a momentous moment, but that's not the point. You'll remember that recently we made a cold break-in stand for this engine, which we rebuilt, bored out, and uh, broke in. We saw um, some really solid compression figures, which is good, but they weren't quite high enough. We were looking at about 12 kilos per cylinder when we administered the test, and we want to bring that up. And by bring up, I mean really crank it up. Like literally as high as we can possibly get it. As for how we go about doing it, well, we actually have a couple of options of how to boost the compression. We're also going to be increasing the compression ratio. That we're going to do by means of machining the cylinder head and the block, which we haven't gotten to yet. We've only shaved off like a microscopic amount of material. But we'll be going much further the second time around. And perhaps you remember what else we've done in the past to boost the compression? Correct, we fitted additional piston rings, which we intend to do here as well. But this time it's not going to be just one extra ring. I think we're going to add a few more to get as much out of this engine as we possibly can. So let's recap. Shave the head in the block, add some additional rings, break it all in. Cold, of course. Assemble everything and see. Whether we rejoice or become upset, I reckon... Time to place your bets, guys. Nobody knows. 16? 18, okay. Well? Give me something. 20? Holy cow! 20, well, that's a lot of different options. But there's only one way to find out the truth, so let's do this. So if you haven't been in our merch shop for a while, we have added a bunch of cool new stuff. Such as these handmade wallets and holders made out of genuine leather. It's a must-have for any dude who needs a reliable and convenient place to keep his documents. We also have an assortment of t-shirts, caps and key fobs with a fresh design. There is a lot to cover, so better you head on over to our shop and check out what we got. For anybody who places an order right now, I'll slip in a card with my picture and my personal autograph. Make sure to use PayPal to pay for your order, so that it goes through with no issues. Add something new to your collection of Garage 54 merch, and receive a card with my autograph. So head on over to our online shop, and the link, of course, is going to be in the description. We cranked the compression up to 20 kilos, but what for? Translation and voiceover by BMI Russian. Check this out, guys. Take a look at what we've done here. The block is looking good. It's nice and broken in. And we've machined it, removing about two millimeters of material. The piston in TDC was about 1.9 mil away from the edge of the block. But honestly, we don't quite know how it's going to fit. We kind of lost track when we were doing the machining. But I mean, as soon as we put one piston in there, we'll see what's up. Once we bring it up to top dead center. As for the pistons, yes, we did machine them, but not to change their height. Here's what we've done. We're going all chips in here. And we are in a really risky situation. The oil rings we've effectively removed. And now instead of one oil ring, we've got a couple of wide compression rings. After that we have a regular compression ring, 
and where we would have had a slender ring, we've gone ahead and widened the groove, and now we're running two slender rings in a single groove. Just like we've replaced the oil ring with two thick ones. And finally, we've made an additional groove to accommodate another thin compression ring. And that gives us a total of six rings per piston. Okay, now let's discuss the cylinder head. We have no idea how many times it was machined before, but we removed as much material as we could pretty much all the way up to the valves, which leaves us with a really tiny combustion chamber, which is actually good, because the more material we remove, and the closer the valves, I mean the smaller the combustion chamber, the higher the compression ratio, and the higher the compression. And on top of all that, to make things that much more reliable, we've got this multi-layer metal gasket. Yeah, this is what we've decided to go with here. I mean, no use half-assing it, right? So we got us a multi-layer metal gasket, and now I suggest we assemble everything. And get to doing the interesting stuff, which would be to do a compression test and see the results of that. Our goal is to increase the compression and the compression ratio, and we seem to have all of the necessary pieces. It's all down to assembly now. Okay guys, we've assembled the engine, everything is looking good. And the point of this whole thing was to achieve... ...outrageous compression figures. Yeah, let's do the compression test. Excellent. Very nice. Hit it. That's enough. At this rate, it's showing me 10. So the starter can't even turn the engine over on 12 volts. Incredible. But what if I remove this? Try it now. Is it going to turn over? Yeah, we seem to have done well. Go get another battery. We're going to have to go to 24 volts. Hey, what can you do? It's not going to immediately kill the starter motor. And we'll at least find out the compression. Go for it. Enough, that'll do. That's enough. Try that again. Hit it. Whoa, why'd the motor move? Did you push it? Go. It's already sky high. That'll do. I can't see the reading. Oh, well, that's good. 20. So when all is said and done, we're already at 20 kilos. Fantastic. So that was... Chillinder 1. Let's see what the situation is with 2. Get this on. Nothing on this end. Let's go. That's enough. 20 again. Tremendous. So that's 20 in cylinder 2, as well, which is excellent. And now number 3. Hit it. Enough. Well, seems to be even all across the board. Figures the same, see? It's also 20. Excellent. Let's go. That's enough. What's up? 
There was some blow-by. We have blow-by? Yeah, I also heard the whooshing. But, I mean, whatever. It's still 20. This is pretty interesting. We are looking at 20 kilos in each cylinder. As far as this manometer is concerned, anyway. Though I should say that, from my own personal experience, when you're pushing such high figures, I mean, even above 8 kilos, these rubber hoses are not the best. I suspect there might be a bit of leakage. And as such, a loss of pressure. We don't yet have a braided line at our disposal. And the gauge with the metal tube you have to hold. And with this sort of compression, you simply won't have enough strength. I mean, even at 12 it gets hard. At 20 you're definitely not keeping that pressed up. So here's the situation, guys. In each cylinder we saw 20 kilos of compression. And the pressure gauge just had to have been somewhat off. So I think the compression might even be a bit higher. Maybe even like 22 kilos. 22, 23 or thereabouts. We should definitely attach a braided line. And try this again without the air leak. And so now with these compression figures and this sort of compression ratio, you can guess what we might give a try. People have been asking for it for a while now. And so we're gonna go through the storage and get every part out from an old car we used to have. We're gonna take all of that and fit it to this and try starting it. But if you want to see where that goes, then stay tuned for future episodes. But for now, that's all I have for you. Subscribe so you don't miss what's happening next. Watch us, subscribe, send in your suggestions, comment, give us a big thumbs up. All right, catch you later. I mean, I myself can't wait for the next phase of this.